After the catastrophic disaster that was the 50 series, Electromotive Division lost a lot of their good reputation, which allowed General Electric to come creeping in with the Dash 8s. EMD finally got their act together with the GP and SD60s, which are basically GP and SD50s respectively, but with all the corner cutting smoothed out. While the 60 series was marginally successful, the fixes proved to be too little too late. In order to compete with the new Dash 9 locomotive, EMD released the SD70 and SD70M in 1992. The 70 series evolved over time, with more advanced and modern technology facilitating the creation of newer SD70 models. Despite newer models being introduced throughout the 90s, all SD70 variants had the same 16-cylinder 710G3 engine, so all variants produced 4,000 horsepower. While this was increased in models produced after the 2000s, EMD wanted to offer a slightly higher power SD70, especially since the 4400 horsepower Dash 9 had become very popular. So they decided to take their existing locomotive and make the engine output a bit more power. Which was the style at the time? This brought about the creation of the SD75M and SD75I in 1994. Powered by the same 710G3 with increased output, the 75 series could provide 4300 horsepower, a 7.5% increase over the 70s. By the time the 75 series was introduced, wide cabs were all the rage, and so no standard cabs were available on either of the two models. The SD70M has the regular EMD wide cab seen on earlier locomotives with the M suffix. Only the Santa Fe ordered the SD75M model. They initially purchased 51, and later received 25 in 1996 during the merger. Today, BNSF still operates the second batch of 25. Seven of the original 51 were transferred to Norfolk Southern, and the remaining went to Progress Rail, who gave them a fresh coat of paint and has definitely been keeping them in good cosmetic order. The SD75i has EMD's Whisper Cab, with a rubber gasket separating the cab from the rest of the equipment. The whisper cab and I suffix was first seen on the SD60i and later on the SD70i. Eventually the isolated cab became standard on all EMD locomotives. Canadian National acquired a whopping 175, followed by 26 to BNSF and 6 to the Ontario Northland Railway. Those three companies still have their original sets and still operate them today. The SD75 did not end up being as popular as EMD had hoped. While a total of 280 were built, the SD70s were more popular, and by the 2000s had caught up to the 4300 horsepower offered by the 75s. Additionally, the new and exciting AC traction technology was seen in the SD70 Mac and AC 4400 CW, but was not offered in either SD75 models. Despite the limited adoption, nearly all SD75Ms and SD75Is are still around today, with only a few casualties. They are prominently seen in revenue service on Canadian national systems, and, as mentioned before, can still be seen on the BNSF, Norfolk Southern, and Ontario Northland Railway, in addition to being leasable by Progress Rail. Speaking of Canadian national, there has been a rumor going around for a while now that they may begin a rebuild project for their old DC SD70 models in similar fashion to what Norfolk Southern has done. While I have found very little to go off of, the idea of an SD75 ACC would be pretty neat.